Hi, I'm Peter. And I'm Will. And you're watching Anderson Jazz Jams. Episode number 13. This channel is supported by our generous Patreons that give as little as a buck a month, and you can find the link in the description below. This week, we'd like to play a song composed by Thelonious Monk, entitled Baya. This week on Technique Tips, we're going to talk about playing the threes on the clarinet. This is kind of a technique that my brother and I have learned from a saxophonist named Mark Vinci, and essentially it's playing the overtone series on the clarinet. We've talked before about the overtone series on the saxophone. Now the overtone series on the clarinet is a little bit different because as you move up the overtone series, it actually increases in pitch or gets higher twice as quickly. So instead of the overtones being first partial, second partial, third partial, it goes first partial, third par partial, fifth partial, seventh. It goes up twice as fast. But the thing about this exercise is that it gets you very accustomed to going up the partials very smoothly and cleanly. We start on a low G, and then from there, we add the register key, which gives us the next partial, which is a D. And then after that, we pick up the first finger in the left hand, which gives us an E, which is the fifth partial. <laughs> taught this technique at elementary school level and middle school and high school and it always seems to be very valuable on the clarinetists getting used to playing the upper partials without squeaking. This week on Improve Your Improv, we're going to talk about learning the piano. Being able to play simple chord progressions on the piano is really going to be able to help you to improvise. If you're a beginning jazz student and you're trying to figure out these chord qualities that you're looking at on your jazz band parts or perhaps a fake book, it would really serve you well to take that music to the piano and be able to play each one of these chords. You can play the root in your left hand and then you can play the rest of the chord in your right hand. And we all know from learning music in middle school and high school that 
usually particular instrumentalists have strengths. Usually the drummer is going to have very solid rhythm and they're going to have a little bit more sophisticated understanding about different rhythms. The pianist usually has the best handle on harmonic progressions. Kind of getting inside the head of the pianist in a jazz ensemble can help us have a greater understanding of what we're improvising on top of. This week on Things You Don't Learn in Music School, we're gonna talk about playing your best in every situation. Some people think that you should take a big performance really seriously, and then if you're playing just a rehearsal or an informal performance, you can kind of play half of your potential. All the great professionals here in New York City and all over the world take every opportunity to play on their instrument like it's their top performance. You know, they say, play every note like you're playing on the stage of Carnegie Hall. Try your best every time you're playing your horn. And I think part of it also comes from a mindset of being thankful and having a lot of gratitude. We're very lucky and a lot of our students and teachers are just so lucky to have these sophisticated instruments. Reminding yourself that we're all very lucky to be playing this music, sharing it with other people, I think gives us more of a sense of urgency that you know this could be our last time playing our instruments. Giving yourself a time limit is important too and I think that will further create the incentive to sound your best when you're practicing because this week on Jazz Hangouts we're going to talk about a great jazz club in Washington DC called Blues Alley. This was a place that my brother and I could frequently attend while we grew up in DC. They just have international acts performing there and it's in a historic district of Georgetown. So it's a really beautiful place. We're gonna be performing at Blues Alley this coming October, so look out for that. In the past, we've had many opportunities to perform there, including with our private teacher and mentor while we were growing up in high school by the name of Paul Carr. People like Stan Getz and Dizzy Gillespie and Arturo Sandoval and Wynton Marsalis have performed there. It really has a long history. We're gonna head on over to Patreon and record our Patreon Plus videos, which are exclusive videos for our Patreons that give as little as a dollar a month. It unlocks all these behind the scenes Patreon Plus videos, so we'll be right back. For this week's Lick of the Week, we've chosen a phrase that was played by Thelonious Monk, and it's a phrase from one of his songs called Little Rudy Tootie. It's just constructed so well and it's so well known, even though the song is kind of obscure, that lots of jazz musicians, when they solo, they quote it all the time. <laughs> Like all of our Lick of the Weeks, we encourage you to learn this in all 12 keys. If you were able to get it, send us a video of you playing it. You can also, on these YouTube videos, select an option where you can play the video a little bit slower. This week on Cats You Should Know, we're going to talk about a fabulous trombonist named Joe McDonough. And I first met him while I was in high school at the Brubeck Institute Summer Colony. And we got to work with um, some international jazz artists like Jerry Berganzi and Nicholas Payton. Joe McDonough has since attended Juilliard. He recorded with Christian McBride on his big band album that won a Grammy. And Joe is also the trombone faculty at Temple University. And another really cool thing that Joe is part of is the Philadelphia Jazz Orchestra. Joe McDonough will be performing with us in New York City on May 16th. We're doing a all-star concert with several jazz masters as well as jazz millennials. We're also gonna be joined by the vocalist Veronica Swift, the bassist Buster Williams, drummer and vibraphonist Chuck Red, great trumpet player Randy Brecker. We're going to put all of our Patreons on the screen because we really want to thank their support. We also want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel below, click the notification bell, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have a video in landscape mode of you playing or asking a question or a comment that we might feature on the show. Thank you for watching Anderson Jazz Jams. <laughs>